I, I just want to close by saying that, you know, when I think about this bill, I think there are two major opportunities in American democracy where you have a chance to make laws. And one of those is you have the chance to go to the ballot and vote for your representative who makes laws for you. And the other is when you get that notice in the mail that says that you're requested to go to jury duty. And you have the chance there to vote on the application of the laws, to say whether or not you think that this law as applied to this defendant is fair or not fair. Uh, and in jury duty, if you get the notice and you don't go to jury duty, they issue a summons for you to come get you and to make sure that you report next time for jury duty. I would think if I were carrying a bill today to say that if you don't report to jury duty, we will classify you as an inactive citizen and then never ask you to do jury duty again, you would all oppose that bill. Um, uh, I think that because what we have in jury duty is a structure that says uh, we want to provide all the structures we can to continue to encourage people to civically engage in this democracy. And I think that's a great part of what we do with jury duty. I think all we want to do in elections is the same thing, which is to say we want to do what we can to encourage people to civically engage in running their own democracy. And so uh, anything that we can do to make it more likely that they engage is a great thing. Anything that we can do that puts a burden in front of them, we ought to think twice about before we do. And so I think this is a small step uh, to help us maintain what I think all of us in this chamber want, which is a more actively engaged civic republic. Uh, so I'd ask for an I vote on 109.